What has been your secret sauce for keeping these super smart uh, women that are on your team as in in the biz, and what makes them what what makes them unique? So I think my secret sauce of keeping people is always check in and see where they're at in their own journey. What are they enjoying? What aren't they enjoying? What do they see? Asking their opinions um, and engaging them because especially in this industry, there's so many different things happening that I want to find out, Hey, what, you know, what's going on now that where, where do you really want to be? Where do you think you can contribute? And continuously kind of playing with that and moving people around within there. Um, So that I think is a little bit different. And I've been known to, you know, sometimes take a little bit of a step back if I need to, to retain someone knowing that it allows for growth. Um, Replacing someone's a big deal and they get to be forward facing um, and get to know clients themselves. They're just phenomenal. They, I think they love to learn. Do you guys see how her face lights up? She just started, if you're listening to this um, on just audio and not video, her she just like, when she started to think about them, I could see that she was looking back and her face just started to glow. You are such a relationship person, just like what you said about <laughs> your clients, like what you say about your team. It's, it's very much about the relationships. Okay. I interrupted, but please. Um, they care passionately about our clients. And they're just, they're A, they're awesome human beings and ethical and believe in doing the right thing. They want to learn. They want to grow. They give me ideas. Um, I have a strong personality. They have no problem standing up to me. Um, And we, I think that's really important. And, you know, they come back and and share, hey, I, I see this with this client. What do you think about this? I mean, it's not a... It's, it's a very interactive relationship and, and office and, and not everyone's here. So sometimes it has to be very intentionally um, interactive and saying, hey, we're going to get on a call once a week and talk about what's going on or talk about how we're going to approach this or whatever it may be. Um, and I learn from them as much as I hope that they learn from me um, and from one another. So. One of the things that I really saw when they came was that the, the, their level of contribution, their level of commitment, their their ability to synthesize ideas, and because they had this huge depth of um, years working together and with you, it's like you're a well-oiled machine working together, and there's so much love there, so much love. So really great. And they know how to pick up the pieces. I think that's the other piece is that well machine and and being willing to jump in in different ways. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you're a pretty smart cookie. <laughs> um, how do you Maybe. continue? To, well, I, I'm I'm framing this up because you, you're a pretty smart cookie. You have a lot going for you. You've got you've got this business that's been around for 90 years. You've been running it since 2011. You actually have a second business that we're not even going to talk about that you're, you, you run, you're, you're really smart on the process, all of this stuff. So you got a lot going for you. How do you continue to up your game? This is a two-parter. Okay. How do you continue to up your game and what's the role of coaching for you? Because I, what I see is there are a lot of super smart women out there who have a uh, pull yourself up by your boot ki- bootstraps DIY mentality, and it and it stops them. I know it stopped me for many years um, until I was like, okay, my way doesn't work. I need to figure it out, and I went all in on getting help. And then my my life changed dramatically. My business changed dramatically. Um, but but how do you how do you integrate those two things? I'm smart, right? I've got a lot of experience. I know a lot. And I'm willing to ask for help. I, I'm, I'm, you're coaching with, with us. Like, how do you integrate those two things? I think that I'm smart enough to know that I'm not, I don't know everything. And I think that's the, the first piece is, is, like I said earlier, actually about my team of being able to even ask them and take a step back and realize that I'm hearing different opinions and being open to learning. You know, so I am very active on 
the association for association executives, they have a listserv and pay attention to what are trends? What, what don't I know? And then for the coaching, I listen, I think about it. I share, you know, and a lot of times, I mean, it's hysterical to listen to me in the morning. I'll walk in from my drive and say to Tanya, so on today's podcast, whoever is listening, like shocking, I was listening to a podcast and so-and-so said this, what do you, like, and so we just kind of file that away and say, okay, we're, what could I do? And, and coaching with you has been about mindset and saying, hey, there's things that I haven't done as well as I would like. And how do I break through any of my barriers? And, and then sometimes it's being vulnerable in a way that, that is really uncomfortable in asking questions. So for me, it's less there. Sometimes people need more tactics. I, I can always learn from tactics, but mine's really been around the mindset more than, you know, technically I probably know most of what I need to do or know how to find it. But mindset is saying, you know, do I believe in myself? What am I stopping myself? We are myself sabotaging. How do I, you know, move through those pieces and start to recognize those patterns and, you know, one of my favorites, cause and effect. What's the cause that, and where am I as a result of that? If you want to master your business, you must master your mindset first. Our next, the seven laws to seven figures summit is designed to help you do just that. This November in just three days, I am going to be giving you a roadmap of exactly what you need to do to dramatically increase your income and achieve the freedom that you desire without burnout. Podcast listeners, you can save big by visiting theunstoppablewoman.com slash breakthrough to grab your super early bird ticket today and save $800. You better hurry while the offer is still available. Bye for now, and I'll see you at the summit.